Well, hello again. This is Pastor Bob with Senior Insights, where we consider issues of interest to all of us who are getting a little bit older. Remember the milkman uh, delivering milk to the door? 25 cents for gas? How about a four cent postage stamp? Remember bomb drills at school? When life expectancy for men was like 65, 66, uh, maybe for ladies, 73 or so. If you remember any of this, you might be getting older. Let's consider this subject some on today's insights. These little bits of trivia that I mentioned uh, just remind us that things have changed a whole lot during our lifetime. We may be getting older, but I'm not ready to be treated like I'm of no longer any use in this world. We're sometimes viewed as out of touch with society around us. Yes, it is a bit different from the time we grew up in. Uh, you're probably watching this video uh, on YouTube, on your phone or a tablet or a laptop. I can remember back in the early 60s that the University of South Carolina uh, built a giant building just to house their new computer for the business school. Huge reels of giant, uh, on, on the side of giant computer boxes of some sort, all fed by key punch cards. Uh, I expect that your little cell phone, your mobile phone that you're holding in your hand, has more computer capacity than that giant computer had back then. Everything is so different. I bet young folks today never heard of the Monster Mash, or of Salk polio vaccine, or an iron lung for Pete's sake. Remember that smallpox shot that uh, they covered the little plastic bubble on your arm for about a week? I can remember Susan sitting our um, firstborn son, Matthew, down uh, when he was maybe one and a half, two years old in front of a television set to watch Neil Armstrong step out on the moon so that someday he could always say, ah, I was there, I saw that. What about Wake Up Little Susie? Or The Lion Sleeps Tonight? It's a whole lot different, isn't it? My thoughts here is this, things change from one generation to the other. Can I get an amen on that? But have we changed? I talked to a sweet senior lady the other day who was really upset that her church was no longer going to use uh, an organ and have a, a special service just for senior adults uh, every Sunday morning. Now a lot of churches do that during the week or once in a while, but just as a regular service separate from what the church is doing. Uh, she was upset that they, they didn't want to keep doing that. For a while, maybe I would have agreed with her. Sure, I missed some of that. However, I attend a great Bible honoring church that has a teaching pastor who can make God's uh, truth apply to me where I am, what's going on in my life right now, in today's world. It's relevant because it applies to things going on, uh, issues, events. Uh, and sometimes I feel like maybe he's even talking just to me in those services. I don't want to be left behind as our society has changed all around us. I am old. Uh, we all can all understand that. But I still want to be a servant for my Lord Jesus and his kingdom. I don't want just to be an old man sitting in a service designed to match what I was attending some 30-something years ago. I want the generations coming up behind us to see me and you worshiping this great God that we serve. Don't you just love to look around during a worship service uh, on a Sunday morning and see young adults and teenagers praising the living God. Look around during 
praise and worship time this week in your church. Pay attention to the words of the songs that are sung. Our fellow worshipers are excited, singing loud with, with arms raised before the wonderful Lord, our Savior. And I want to be there with them and let them know that just because I'm a senior adult, I'm not some old dried up relic. Remember, oh, Abraham was 75 years old before God even called him to move out. He didn't even know where he was going. But he was told to go and he trusted God and believed in God. And he even had no children until he was 100 years old. Now, how would you like that? Uh, Sarah was 90, but he performed uh, for what God wanted him to do, met his God's promises in his life, and he was persuaded that God was going to make his word true in his life. He trusted him, but he didn't give up just because of his age. Now, dear ones, Satan and his crowd would want to tell you that you're over the hill, that there's nothing you can contribute anymore. He would want me just to attend a, a separate service somewhere, stay sidelined. Now, like I said, I, I believe in senior adult ministries. I, I've done that for years. Special programs, but the regular worship service is what I'm talking about. And, you know, we can do that. Uh, we don't need to be separate and sidelined. God says nothing's too hard for him. He can make us fit in. You can't tell me that I can no longer serve him because I'm an old man. Paul said in Acts 20, 24, my life is worth nothing to me unless I use it for finishing the work assigned to me by the Lord Jesus. The work of telling others the good news about the wonderful grace of God. Now, isn't that what you and I want in our lives? Don't we want other people to be uh, drawn to Him and encouraged by what we say and do? So let's you and I choose to continue serving Him as long as we're living in this realm, in this world. Let's not be stuffed away in a senior adult service somewhere. Uh, out of out of the main line of what's going on in our churches but remain in the main flow of church activity where we can show this younger generation that our lives will not be judged by how we start but how we finish and i pray that i'm able to faithfully be serving our lord and savior to the very end not in an old man room somewhere tucked away uh, from those that are needing to know that we're eternal saints, faithfully serving till the time we're called home. Friend, I know this is kind of a strange little uh, week uh, topic, but I just feel strongly that uh, so many of us uh, just want to hang on to the past and not serve in the present. Email me if you've got thoughts on this. Questions, maybe prayer requests. Uh, being part of this family uh, is part of what God wants for us. We're all that family, and we need to support one another. Email me at materialinsights at gmail.com. You know, I appreciate this time. Uh, thank you for taking it. This is Pastor Bob, and Lord willing, We'll be getting together again next week. And let me close with this blessing that the Lord gave to all of his people. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. Oh, dear ones, the peace that Jesus can give and only he can give, the peace that passes all understanding. God bless you, dear ones. Uh, until I'm with you again, this is Pastor Bob with Senior Insights. Have a blessed week.